All right. Well, well, well. Hello, everybody. It's Royal Fatness here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Yay. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the 777 over the last couple of streams as it's been in the store. So I figured, you know what? I'll just revisit it. I'll stream it again. It did get some minor balance adjustments since the last time I streamed this vehicle. So I figured it would, it would be all right. Let's cover the tank. Let's get some games in it. Let's figure out if it's pretty good, where its strengths and weaknesses lie, how you can play it to be effective and all that good old fun stuff. Hello from the great nation of Texas. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> hello to my Texans out there. All right. Hey, howdy, Fanis. How are you? Good to see you again. Doing pretty well. Thank you, Lewis. Appreciate you dropping by as well as Lucky Officer VT. Um, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Great to have you all here. Good evening, by the way. Doing an evening stream today. So, hopefully it's not too late for most of you. If you are from Europe, I apologize. I know this is not ideal for you guys, but... Oh, well. <laughs> hey, Fanis. Hey, hey. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hi from Poland. Oh, my. We have uh, someone who does not sleep in the chat. Hello, hello. <laughs> Did they buff the 777? I'm trying to remember. They were very minor balance changes that Wargaming did to the 777. If I remember correctly, I believe they were buffs to some extent. Uh, if you guys remember what changes the 777 received during the last major tier 10 rebalances, please, uh, let me know in the chat because I honestly don't remember the details. It was very minor uh, and I have not played this tank in quite some time except for a couple warm-up games uh, before the stream. Um, thank you from Poland. Yes, thank you from California. <laughs> All right. So, Object 777 currently in the store and let me see. Ugh, 60 bucks. Okay, that is quite pricey. Is there a cheaper option or bundle for it? And unless I'm missing it, I don't see a cheaper option. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. 60 bucks does seem kind of steep. But uh, yeah, let's discuss 777. It's a very good, versatile tier 10 heavy tank. It has a lot going for it. It has a very solid armor profile. I'll talk about some of the weak spots in a bit. It has very solid mobility. It has great DPM. It has good penetration. It has solid accuracy. And I think it even has seven degrees of gun depression if I am not mistaken. So even for, oh no, it's six. Okay, it's six, but it's still good enough. It's not five degrees at least, but uh, considering this kind of tank's play style, it's six degrees is not a huge limiting factor unless you're playing in a very hilly terrain, in which case that could be problematic. Also has a center mounted turret. So that means Yes, you can side scrape in this tank to an extent. It has very troll sides. I don't even know if they're spaced. I don't believe it has spaced armor along the sides. Just very, very thick tracks, which kind of soaks up a lot of damage. And as you can see, the drive wheels are extended beyond the front of the hull. So when you're angling the tank out, you'd be surprised how often a shot headed towards your drive wheel, say someone's trying to track you, will actually just be a kind of a ghost shell where it doesn't really pen your tank at all. It just damages the drive wheel. So it can side scrape to some extent. Its lower plate is fairly weak, but its upper plate is pretty much, I mean, you look at the angling of the upper plate. If you're on flat ground or using your six degrees of gun depression, it's gonna be practically about auto bounce everywhere. Turret's very strong frontally, but there are a couple of significant weak spots, which are actually the hatches on top. Now the hatches look quite tiny, and you would think that it's not too much of an issue, but you'd be surprised how often players can actually pen you through the hatches or just the area around the hatches. I would compare the turret to a, a stronger version of what you see on the K91, where it's pretty, you know, it's quite good frontally, but against premium rounds and even standard rounds or a tank that's looking down on you or that's slightly taller than you, you will get penned through these hatches quite often. So something to be aware of when you're hauled on in this tank is it's, it's no IS-7 where you can just sit there and pretty much be unpenable through the whole top four fifths of the turret. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna be like that. So you have to watch out for the hatches. Another issue that this tank faces is significant ammo rack problems. As you can probably tell, I am running the protective kit just to try and reduce how often this tank gets its ammo rack damage. It gets racked quite often. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, last time I streamed this tank, I got full HP racked in it. So yeah, great stuff. So definitely watch out for the ammo rack, especially when you're pulling out sideways in front of 155 millimeter guns and larger, Th that will definitely pose a major threat on this vehicle. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just a very well-rounded, versatile heavy. I'm gonna jump into some games. Hopefully we have a good time. Not really my personal favorite play style for tier 10 heavy tanks. I prefer TI-5E6, T-110E5, FE-215B, 
Um, I, I heck, I probably even prefer the VZ because the gun's kind of cracked on that tank. Uh, but that's just because those tanks have some very specific features that I like. This is more of your all-rounder, kind of just good in every regard. Well, maybe six degrees of gun depression isn't quite good, but it's decent enough. Hey, fast, what's good? This is a good tank. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate you dropping by. Hey, fan, hello, hello. Jack, stream sometime. It's being mega buffed since your last stream. Yes, the AG is on the agenda. I have it on my list of streams I have planned for the next upcoming couple of weeks. Um, 777 is better. Better than what? <laughs> uh, maybe I wasn't reading. I'm finally on this time. Let's go, let's go, curious. You're not 10 years late. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, just bought this, made platinum league. Congratulations. Hey, Fennis, do you have any future plans for Showcase if it to be in, in its current patch? Yes, that is also on the agenda for future streams. Okay, well, that queue is quite long. I might have to turn Supremacy on if it's going to continue being this long. But for now, we got our game. So let's enjoy ourselves. You got extra RNG in this tank? Hopefully we do. If I remember correctly, I believe this tank has, what, 430 alpha? So it's even higher than your typical 122 Soviet guns in Tier 10. And uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of saucy, 430 alpha. I mean, it's only five alpha greater than your typical 425 or 420, I think it's 420 or 425 that most of the 122s get. But, you know, just an extra bit of alpha means you max roll a little bit higher, 530, I think it's 538 on the max roll. So yeah, it has a lot going for it. I'm gonna go town this time. Now it could go dunes, but I feel like I could probably get away with some town play. So just gonna kind of sit here and see if anything shows up. They do have a whole read E4 and a 183 so some takes i should definitely be aware of the enemy 777 pull forward there and as you can see there are the drive wheels i was talking about that are very quite that are actually quite difficult to pen much more difficult than you would expect just put a snot towards the e4 sadly was not able to snap it i'm gonna wait for him to overextend a little bit start shooting at someone wait for him to pull back around the corner let's track him maybe not quite but we do get a good 470 alpha damage shot and we'll just angle our haul in a little bit here against this 57 heavy and you can see we can side scrape quite comfortably 57 heavy also getting a bit baited there and shooting and e4 is not paying attention so let's track him in place and try and pull back there we go there's those drive wheels i'm talking about the drive wheels are kind of uh really strong on this tank let's pick up clear on this dude it's a very decent brawling tank especially in an environment like this where you can kind of side scrape and chill and do your thing the 777 here has just fired his gun so let's put a shot on his lower plate there there we go and i think my team are very much winning this heavy tank side a letter E3 push forward here since he is so desires to get in here and face hug this dude. And we'll pick up a clear on the 7 7. Nice. All right. That leaves the 183, the 50B, and a couple other tanks like uh, Hori, which I was not really expecting to be over here. Let's wait for him to give me a track shot. How oh, interesting. I thought that was going to pen his haul, but apparently it did not. Oh, well. I better yellow faster or all the damage is going to escape. This game is pretty much just over for the enemy team. They were. A little bit on the aggressive side over on the heavy ends and they didn't take any mid control and so we don't have that middle map control it can be quite problematic indeed we'll pick up the clear on this player here WZ should be able to kill the whole re nice that's leaves a 50 to be a 140 who are yeah they're, they're not gonna survive very long but yeah I mean that's that's the type of environment the 777 is gonna be quite good in. and to one of the few it's one of the few tier 10 Soviet heavy tanks that can actually do a proper side scrape because it does not have a pike nose or any kind of weird angling on the front of the hall. Unlike, oof, what a kill shot. Unlike tanks, um, the IS-4, unfortunately for the IS-4, has quite a sizable pike nose area. Oh, 500 ram damage, let's go. Uh, not quite pike nose, but the cheeks on the IS-4, I mean, you can't really side scrape in it, especially after it's armor nerfs. IS-7, you can side scrape, but then again, you have to watch out for those cheeks. And both of those have front-mounted turrets because this one's mounted in the middle. It's a lot more comfortable for that type of environment. Only 3,000 damage there, but I think we did our job pretty okay. You know, just kind of going heavy side. Fortunately, the enemy team didn't really split up properly there. If the 57 had maybe gone to a different building and the 777 had pushed in a little bit more and the TDs had been positioned differently, it could have been a lot longer clearing heavy side there. Um, <clears throat> Oi, fan is slow, and did you have to... Let everyone know about the four shot bat shot. Don't get nearly as many <laughs> the DFs now. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. I mean, it's a personal choice. I think we can all agree the four shot is for the most part worse, except for high explosive alpha damage. I think it's better in terms of burst AG. Uh, but it's just kind of a fun gun to run. And I actually really enjoyed that, to be, to be fair. If Fennis do you, uh, Fennis do a Jag stream? Like I said a little while ago, that is already on the agenda for upcoming streams. 
<laughs> Hello, King Obesity. Uh, I don't remember going by that nickname, but uh, if you say so, I will not complain. Okay, so I'm actually going to push through the river. We have the good spot on vineyards. Kind of a shame not to take this map control away from the enemy team, so that's what I'm going to do here. One, spotting the 113 up. They do have a girl at 268, but my priority at the moment is just to kind of get a feel for what they could have in dunes. And there we go. There's a 140. And ah, uh, yes, yeah, six degrees of gun depression. You felt it there. I felt it there for sure. And this 140 is quite exposed. So I'm going to start pressuring up on this 140 ever so slightly while he's trying to back out of here. There we go. We get a ricochet from the 268 while I am doing that. And they also have a few tanks over on the encounter cap too. There's the 140 who also ricochets off of me there. So we know the 268 is positioning. We know the 140's positioning. I, I kind of doubt the 268's going to pull forward again. Okay, he does. We can put another shot to him and pull back. Let me check to see if my team have any resets on the encounter cap. It looks like they could, but as of right now, no one. I might have to rotate back for the encounter cap here in just a moment. What the heck is that? Okay, was not expecting to find this player here. I'm going to actually start traversing my take around to get ready for that encounter cap. Yo gets tracked. We can put a kill shot towards him or not necessary. And I'm actually going to begin my rotation out now because I don't see anyone in the vicinity of the encounter cap. They'll have resets. Now, I may or may not get hit by 268 doing this. I would prefer not to. We do manage to sneak around here. My allies do also get that encounter cap reset. So that's a W. And there's the enemy's T22, which we can aim in for the rear here. Okay, I get scammed. I see how it is. I have 2k spotting though. Let's go. Spotting connoisseur in the 777. Let's aim in thoroughly here for the T22. Nice. And the 268 is getting dealt with shortly as well. I think we've won this game. I mean, this map just kind of blows to be honest. I should have aimed more forward there. I thought he was traversing, so I... Uh, I didn't aim as far forward, but I should have aimed up a little bit more there. 113 getting quite aggressive here. I'm not sure if that's a great idea, dude. You only have 400 alpha damage now. You don't even have close to a comparable alpha damage versus the Chad 777. Speaking of which, we pick up a nice clear on him. And uh, yeah, that's game over. No more damage or anything. It's just Jover. Jover is can be. So I'll take it. Uh, didn't really do much damage, but... On this map, from from this spawn, it's pretty easy to sweep the enemy team, and... Okay, yeah, well, you're not supposed to snipe in your 777, okay? It's, it's not gonna... It's not gonna be all the best for sniping, and so... I guess that's just a GG. <laughs> the walls of six degrees have gunned up. Yes, indeed. But you saw that ditch I rotated around to? Great position. If you don't have the best gun depression, you can easily work there by counter-angling your tank down. And as long as you have enough turret armor, you can poke there relatively safe. It's better for front-mounted turrets, actually, that the initial second position I took to shoot the 140 there. Uh, so, yeah, well done, Tree 100 and Hori. They both cooked up. Only 2,500 for me, but, I mean, yeah, it was a bit of a steamroll. I, I do hope Wargaming one day rebalance vineyards. Uh, it's just, it kind of sucks that one spawn is just at such a disadvantage in terms of being able to take map positioning. <laughs> I kind of doubt the 268 is going to poke again. You really underestimate NA players. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I really didn't think it was going to poke. All right, awesome. Let's see. E75, Chieftain BZ. They have uh, TL7, two medium lights, and a 268. I'll probably go heavy side and get haul down on the log pile. I can deal with the BZ as I have 400, not 400, 340 heat pen standard, if I remember correctly. So... I could definitely deal with the BZ's armor profile, E75, TL7, Chieftain, I can AP pen most areas. So I think I would like to take that brawl. It's a little bit slower paced and it'll be more ideal for my tank, especially since the hull is a very low profile here. This position will be excellent for my vehicle. That's assuming, of course, the enemy team come this way. And we do spot the BZ, so that's good to know. Let's see if anyone comes to the middle alley. So far, no one's really gone middle alley, which is a bit of a surprise. Usually you have a player or two there, but maybe since it's not a supremacy matchup, that's not the case. Let's see if we can find the E75 here. Try to aim for a quick snapshot on his turret, but unfortunately just was not in the position to do so. And let's see. So we have a 50B over in the corner here. E3 just fought. Really? So the 268's hiding back there. Ain't that adorable. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do now. Not today, Chieftain. I'm going to rotate around a little bit. So I can assist our 50B here in the corner. We do have a bit of an overmatch on the side for the time being. You see the TL7 isn't even over here anymore. We also know the 268 sniping in the back of Narnia. So he should be easy to take care of. Oh, lovely. This Projeto should give me a nice early shot here. Let's aim that in. Perfect. 417 damage indeed. 
And, uh, all right, let's try and angle up our haul just a little bit here. There we go. Get the side scrape going. Nice little ricochet from that E75. And as long as you keep your angles good in this tank, you will get a lot of ricochets. Quick, quick shot to the prog as well. Nice alpha. Nice gun handling. Allowed me to cook up over here. And I think I'll start pressuring this E75 now. Let's put a quick shot into him for the clear. Good stuff. And we are safe from the BZ and 268 for the time being. I can either try rotating out to deal with the 268 or help finish off this dude. And, well, that was a waste of time. And I think the 268 backed all the way up. So I'm just going to go back for the T100 and TL7. Although, it's already game over, ain't it? It might actually have more farm on heavy side than this side. Especially with them pushing into our E3 and 50B here. So, maybe I should go for the T100 here. I don't know. This is looking a bit over for the enemy team here, man, dudes. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can get a shot into this T100 LT here. Oh, nope. Everyone has to block me. Oh, I hit those. Let's go. Oh, the 268's already getting destroyed. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get there in time. Here's some push on the TL7. <laughs> May as well. Oh, no. E3. Don't you dare. No. Dude, what is this game? It was over in seconds. <laughs> yeah, no way I was farming that battle. 200's dead. Okay, wow. Now, 2 minutes and 40 seconds or so. 2.2k damage. This is why, by the way, I much prefer medium tanks. Is in these, like, really fast-paced sweep games, a medium is in a way better position to, like, really farm damage or very mobile heavy. 777 does have good mobility, but it's, it's no... It's no super, super sped heavy. It, it's, it, you know, it has slug, slightly sluggish traverse speed and it takes a minute to accelerate onwards. All right. Fanis in a heavy tank. Oh my goodness. I know, right? Imagine that. Bro, one more month. Okay, here's what I don't understand. For the warm-up games, like, every battle was so sweaty. I think I pulled three 5,000 damage games out and lost a couple of them. And, uh, like, they were really sweaty, intense games. And then... 30 minutes later when I start streaming. It's nothing but steamrolls. Hopefully, you'll get a little bit more intense at some point during the stream. <laughs> they fixed matchmaking. Did they? Imagine. Uh, Wargaming, do you be adding T64s already? <laughs> Bro, one more month and the Rhino might be coming to the game. Yeah, I don't know when the Rhino's coming, to be honest. We'll see. All right, let's go. 60 TP, IS-7, two heavy tanks, two 183s. Three medium tanks. Do I go med side or clear heavy side? I'll probably go heavy side here. Once again, generally speaking, I prefer to take this into heavy combat over trying to chase down meds because as you can see, it's, it's not really all that much faster than IS-4. Uh, although the IS-4 did get a mobility buff, so it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're cruising at like 42, 42 or so. Should, this IS-7 should struggle to defend me here, so let's put a heat shell into him. I am actually a hull down here. This is kind of a funny spot you can take in this tank and be pretty safe for the most part. Now, I don't know if they have any big bad 183s back there, but this I-7 is still kind of ch- <laughs> Okay, E50. A very peculiar play indeed, and I don't think the 183 fired, so I'm gonna actually not sit there and poke that. But, you know what? My teammates are pushing quite aggressively through here. I think I'll probably go from down low on this ice, but we'll have to watch for mid crossfires, as that can always be a problem. But I think the enemy team is- somewhat split over here. I'm not really sure what the Karo be doing, but I am haul down, so, I mean, cool, I guess. Okay, both 183s are back there. And we still don't know where the 60 TP's at at the moment. Our E50 has done messed up massively. The fortunate news is I can start putting these players into a crossfire here. So start with the I-7, as he's the one that's holding off my whole team up here. There we go. Good old-fashioned I-7. And, oh, the Karo just got absolutely bonked there. Okay, can't quite overmatch that with heat. It was a good try. Okay, 60 TP's pushing up with us. Nice, W. Alrighty, Mr. IS-7. Hello. I think I'm safe here for the most part. Alright, don't mind me. Just gonna put a quick heat shot into you. It's okay if you pen me at this point. You're pretty much dead here. So, you can just keep angling up to me. and We can just ignore the 60 TP and stuff like that. Deal with them when the time's ripe. All right, one more shot into this dude. Let's angle up our haul a little bit here. Try not to give him an easy shot. He actually does pent me through the front of the turret ring there, which is a weak spot on this tank, something you should be aware of. Our 60 TP is about to get a very unpleasant sensation up the rear, and yes, that was uh, indeed what happened to him. And here's the 1A3. Both of them are on reload for a little while longer, and I think the 60 TP must be AFK. I don't see what else he would be doing here. So let's see. Then again, he could just be spawn sniping, as is the case with a lot of tier 10 heavy tanks nowadays. Alrighty, let's see if the spawning threes here. 
23 looks like he's pulled around the corner at the moment. I'll just wait for one of our heavy tanks to flank around here. Start dealing with these dudes. Alrighty, let's put a quick track shot into this dude and then quickly back up in case that 23 tries to poke for me in a moment. He has not poked yet. Very nice. We can pick up a clear on this dude. No problem. And keep pushing forward here. It is actually an extremely close game here. So I'm going to try and get up close and personal to this 183. All right. And wow, it's just me and the TD here. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to back out so our 183 can get a free shot on this dude. Nice. So let's, let's retrack him here again. I'm going to keep pushing his tank around just a little bit. I should be able to out reload him here. I think. Oh no, our 183 is such a silly man. Why did he do that? The 183 really did not need to do that, man. That was um, a very peculiar play by Mr. 183 here. And now it's one versus three. So, what can your boy do here? Let's focus out the frog first. Prog has the auto loaded mechanic, and so we're gonna want to try and prioritize his tank here. We do manage to get one or two ricochets here. Another ricochet. Let's angle up here again to the Patton. Nice. Another shot into the tracks. I'm going to save my repair kit for now because I do have a decent repair speed. All right. And we're going to have to prioritize this Patton here somehow. All righty. Let's see. I'm going to have to avoid the 60 TP while focusing on clearing out the Patton here. Let's get a quick shell into this dude. I just wasted a repair kit. And the 60 TP is definitely going to clear me out here. Yep, nothing I can do about that. What a silly 183, man. What was this dude thinking? He just had to sit behind me. I had the enemy 183 pinned. We literally would have won that if the if our absolutely silly 183 didn't just sit there in front of him and let himself die. Like, what? Come on, dude. He shot way before you. You should have known he was about to reload there. Oh, my goodness. I could have won that, to be honest, if that hall wasn't so large if i'd had time to kill the other the patent there but i didn't have enough time once again you saw that traverse speed on this tank doesn't feel all that great it's good enough for what it is and considering the armor profile but i wasn't able to just like cruise around the corner there and deal with things i, I really wished yeah if i'd been in a medium tank in that scenario uh like an armored med i probably actually could have won that fairly easily right The 7-7's seven turret armor is very, very bad. Anyone who aims a bit pens the roof of it. Yep, that's what I was saying at the start of the stream. Uh, the max you'd have to spend for 10x crates is 15k gold. Very unpleasant sensation. <laughs> Pro 183. I know, right? Uh, why didn't you gun block the 183, dude? 183's are the easiest tank to gun block. Because uh, I didn't think our 183 was just going to sit there in front of them. So I'm like, I'm just going to go pick up the kill. <laughs> Plus, dude. Me, my turret is lower than a 183. Sure, I can gun block him to an extent, but that dude's not going to have too much of an issue aiming at the entire front of my 183 there. The odds of that gun block actually being successful is pretty low. And gun blocking does not completely stop an AP shell. It, 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 it does not completely block the AP shell. I'm pretty sure the shell still go through even if it damages the gun. Uh, thoughts on the 777 for now? I mean, it's, it's practically how I remember it. A pretty decent all-rounder heavy tank. Yeah. Not, not particularly my cup of tea in terms of playstyle, but it's good at what it does. Guys, look at the lineup. M4, Mouse 57. Why on earth are you going to go town? We can clear med site so easily here. E50 is going town. 4005 is very uncertain. T30 at least knows what's good. And my team want to take a 4005, a 183, an M6 Yo into a town fight instead of just taking the haul down engagement over here. Or Yo finally showed up, but took so long. Come on, team. Let's go. This map's been out for several years now. It's not too hard to figure out. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess I'll cross heavy side or uh, cross over to the C cap here because it's important. This is the most important position to take. You take this spot and you're good. Nice. Good news. The Centurion did not cross all the way over. So we actually have a decent chance of holding this end of the map. Assuming that any team even shows up here. I mean, look at the lineup. They have a lot of heavies. Like big, big, big old heavies. So I really wouldn't put it past their team to not even head this way. You can see so far... There's already tanks that spotted in town, so nice. Our team did not commit to the town push, which was good. I was really worried about that. And, well, that was definitely not what I was expecting here. was not expecting the mouse to show up when most of his team is in town, but there you have it. The wild mouse has done appear. Let's put a quick heat shell towards him and, okay, accuracy doing a little bit of troll in there. Fortunately for me, the mouse is, um, or the 4005 is taking all the enemy's attention. Let's focus the scent for now. We'll clear out his gun hopefully soon. And then we can deal with this mouse a little bit later. Mouse is gonna be a bit of a bit of a tough nut to crack here. It'll take a little while to clear out, so I'm not I'm not gonna try and overextend on him. But we do get a nice ricochet there on the upper plate. I out reload the mouse easily here, so 
Not too worried about this mouse here. If he tries to point, if he tries to look over to shoot me, we'll just heat pen him and... I don't know if it's just the camo, but it should not... Oh, I'm shooting AP. I'm like, it should not be this red, guys. I don't know if it's the camo. Yeah, that's why it's so red. Mouse is doing a good job angling, though. Let's see what my allies are up to. Okay, they're clearing out the M4 here. Mouse just fired again. He's just doing a good job stalling us, as a, as a good mouse player should. And Okay, come on, gun. How many shots have I fully aimed in here that I've just straight up missed? <laughs> that straight up missed his turret. There we go. Finally. It's like every single one's hitting on the inside of his mantlet here. I don't understand why. The mouse can easily overmatch my turret roof here. Fortunately for me, though, I can get really close to him and get into a side hug here. Once I do that... Okay, wait, that, I do have to watch out for the Ag Tiger crossfires, actually. There we go. Yeah, this mouse doesn't stand much of a chance. I thought I was hitting my adrenaline there, but I actually hit my repair kit. That's that's crazy. Please don't kill my commander, whatever you do. I know what you're trying to do here, buddy. Please don't hit my commander. There we go. Ah, lovely. Thank you, mouse. Another heat shell into you, good sir. And what is my allies up to? They're up to no good. Okay, the Ag Tiger does not have me in a position to crossfire me, so that's W. One more shot into this mouse, and of course he kills my driver. Go figure. Go figure. I missed it my repair kit there, and now I have a dead driver. But hey, we can at least pick up a clear on this dude. Nice. All right. Well, that whole game was me just farming a mouse. I mean, I'll take it. The, obviously, this tank is pretty good at one v oneing mice, and uh, it's already game over. Yep. <laughs> not, not sure. I mean, I kind of respect the mouse's decision to rotate, rotate back through spawn there. Uh, that was not the. Not the worst decision because really town is such an awful part on this map. <laughs> it's like, it's super open. It's hard to push out of. It can get crossfired from hold on positions everywhere. I think the mouse is just trying to prevent our team from yellowing around and crossfiring out his team, but he had no support except for the scent and that scent just vanished into 405. Oh, excuse me. That was uh, an unexpected sneeze. I've had some slight allergies today. I do apologize. If I was, I like the 777, but one thing I don't like is the bad reverse speed. I think the reverse speed is really underrated stat. Oh, I agree. Reverse speed is the most underrated. You get a good reverse speed on anything and it's chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Good reverse speed tanks are very pleasant to play because uh, you can, especially when it's on an autoloader, you'll be able to just pull in, dump your magazine, rotate out. Um, when shooting a mouse cheeks, it's better to shoot at the right since it's bigger and easier to hit. I mean, I suppose, but at the moment, that one was fine for me. Just got a little trolled by the gun there. I was aiming center of the cheek. It's just kept hitting near the mantlet. Happens sometimes. Oh, okay. Double 57 heavies and an E100. Three TDs and a Bash Shot the Yawn. So, it's me and a Chieftain and a 57. In theory, my team do not really stand much of a chance over on the heavy side. They have two very potent autoloaders and a very high alpha E100 that can be a little time consuming to clear out so i'm going to maybe spot up this corner here without overextending hopefully and chieftain you should give me enough room to back up properly here if i have to back up at a straight line my lower plate will be exposed the whole time but i think yeah i think we're good to spot here for now let's see what happens let's see when their teammates may or may not pop up if they go med side i'll be surprised or maybe they can just all sit and spawn i don't yeah i don't know what their team's doing oh there we go first 57 heavy spotted had to try and aim the heat shell there, unfortunately. Didn't spot me up. Interesting play. Okay, this 50 sounds gonna poke here in just a moment. Come on, poke it, poke it. Dare you to. Thank you. What? Where? Where? Oh my gosh, he barely had a shot on the lower plate too, I guarantee it. Anyways, there's the 100, there's the other 57 heavy. Enemy Yag Tiger is crossing here a little bit. Let's put a quick shell towards him and, okay, gun says no you. Lovely. Here's what I'm thinking, actually. So, we know that the two T's are out of here. Chieftain kind of got nuked. Um, I personally don't foresee my team really holding heavy side very well. But I do need to put myself in a position to help out and encounter caps. So, I'm going to rotate back over this direction. Okay, yeah, Yag's getting taken care of. Batcha is still going to be in a sticky position here soon. And this 57 will have to rotate up for resets. I'm going to bank on the resets happening here sooner or later. All right, let's see. There's the 57, E100. Just 57 might pull up. Yeah, this thing has a, like a 12, 13 kilometer an hour reverse speed, so that's not the best. But I'm in a decent holding spot for now. Okay, there's the enemy's 57 heavy. Let's put a quick shot and see what I'm back up a little bit here. We have 70 cap points, so we can't really afford to be lazy here on the resets. Same with the 183. 
All right, all E100 and 57 both got some good resets there. My allies, that's a rip. All right, well, my team are being a bunch of silly. He's trying to hit, sit here capping a base instead of doing anything of value for my team here. We do manage to get a ricochet from this dude. Just put a heat shell on the one. Nice. I'm going to rotate that hole around a little bit. Get another heat shell ricochet. And it looks like the SU and Bat Chat have pulled up. So I'm going to just rotate back for this SU and Bat Chat on here. Hopefully before my teammates all get killed. I'm actually going to rotate all the way out of the town. It's probably the smarter play for me right now. Put another shot to this dude. And uh, it's just me and one other player. Yo, that's that's crazy. All right, let's, ang let's reverse angle that hole a little bit. Okay. Well, yep, I should have rotated med side. You know, originally I was thinking of going med side here. But then I, I decided against it. Because I wanted to be there to help my teammates out. Oh my goodness. Yep, no, it's, it's, it's so over for me. Dude, this team. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, why are they just sitting on base? You're not going to cap out. And they have two tier 10 autoloading heavies and an E100 sitting around there. That was so dumb. Oh, okay. Yeah, 50, uh, 57 did zero. Okay, both my heavies are uh, 47 and below. 44 Yag Tiger. Ah, 50%. Sheridan was okay. 268 seemed to be. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was terrible. I should have gone med side. I should have gone med side. I should have just cut straight through the encounter cap after the 57s got spotted and gone straight for the Batchan Yag Tiger. Because uh, my allies got cooked by him on the flank there. And I went back to go and try and stop their team from pushing in on a counter cap, but my allies were just uh, just in such terrible positioning there. <laughs> APCR standard always ruins calibrated. APCR premium also ruins calibrated. It really isn't. I, I mean, unless your pen is super bad, sometimes it's not even worth running calibrated for APCR premium because it has such a low increase. 777 or Mark 6. Uh, they're both really good. Personally, I prefer the Mark VI because the Mark VI has a more accurate gun. It has the standard Hess shells. Um, it has way more mobility, but and 10 degrees of gun depression. What it exchanges though is it does lose a lot more on the effective hull armor and a bit on the turret, I would say. But I mean, the Chieftain you really can't go wrong with if you are fine playing more delicate heavy tanks that are good at rotating around and dealing damage that way. If you want your more traditional heavy tank, I think the 777 is generally going to be a better option for you. As uh, it, it is good at doing heavy tank stuff, but the problem is, is my playstyle to win games and to just sit around and be reliant on heavy tanks doing heavy tank things is not my type of type of thing, not my type of gameplay. I much more prefer being able to rotate around and actually have an impact on the game through more more uh, distinct choices of gameplay. All right, there's a hurry up there. Let's put a heat shell into that corner because I don't think I can even bend his upper plate. And there's another hurry back there. And so far, it looks like their team's probably going heavy side. At least that's what I think. And ooh, six degrees of gun depression goes hard. Let's put a quick heat shell towards this dude. And yep, yep, that gun handling is uh, is good enough for the alpha, but it ain't, it ain't no medium tank. All right, this one should hopefully pen. There we go, nice. Let's see. Oh, also another another thing to consider with the 777. The take actually I did not expect to see a concept there. Interesting gameplay decisions. Uh the tank does not have a ton of ammunition. As you can see, I can only carry about 15 heat or uh, 14 15 heat and 21 or so AP or 22 AP. And if you are in a big damage farm game, you actually can run out of ammo. So or at least run out of a, a certain type of ammo, which is never always, never too fun. I don't really want to pressure the side too much here with the 777 and the 60 TP, as well as the three TDs kind of cover firing this area. Uh, but I do have a Yag for support. I am, I believe, to some extent, hold on to this ditch here. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, let's let's bring him in for the 60 TP here. There we go. Quick shot to him. I should be hauled down here, so I don't have to worry about that player there. It should also be, to some extent, hold on against this dude, although he might have a lower play shot on me. Nice, get a ricochet, good stuff. Remember what I always say, it's fine to play in counter cap if you need to, just be careful not to overextend. That's the number one mistake a lot of players make on this map, is way overextending. Let's put a quick heat shot onto that dude. So you can see the middle plate on this take is also quite, quite strong, but with a little bit of heat, you can pen the middle plate pretty easily. I'm going to start pressuring these heavies even more, because now, in this scenario, we have a very clear overmatch on this side of the map here. So... 60 TP being quite aggressive. Let's try and angle up our hall here. He had to shoot heat there. That's fine by me. We also managed to track his tank in place. 
Enemy 777 in the open. Quick track shot onto him as well. Now, even though we're neck and neck in terms of kills, you can clearly see that my team is way up on hit points here. Let's put another track shot to the 60 TP. Very nice. I'll just keep working this angle. We could definitely outplay him in a nice good old-fashioned side scrape here. I just got to try and bait him into shooting a bad portion of my tracks here. But, okay, this is going to spam key in my upper, um, upper mid lower plate. That's fine by me. He's not really doing all that much. Let's pick up a clear on this dude. Nice. And we'll just continue our pressure of Mr. 60 TP here, who is very interested in... Um, just kind of just chilling. All right, let's put another track shot into our mans here. And there we go. Let's give him a whole bunch of track here. We do manage to gun block that because he's shooting heat. Gun blocking him is not going to be a problem. And uh, okay, well, that's just unfortunate. I'll just keep working on this side here. I don't think he realizes I massively out reload him here. Not that it matters. He's, he's dead anyways. Nice. All right. Just leaves the concept in the hurry. Let's go. I don't have any repair kits. I should take it easy not to take a shot here. I just don't want to. I could have shot HE to be honest. I need this load up heat there. All right, perfect. There's the concept sitting in Ernia. Uh, well, that was pretty cool. That, that was definitely primed 777 material. You can see the 60 CP was just spamming the lower plate. He didn't even need heat to pen the lower plate per se, but I guess my man was determined. He's like, gotta make every shot count until I gun blocked him, that is. So, where could this concept have wandered off to? It's a great question. It looks like he killed our badger, so he probably doesn't have a whole lot of hit points left. That's my bet. If the badger with its crazy DP and alpha, there's no way this man's just back into any hit points, right? Eh? I was not expecting that. No, definitely not. But he was fast on those rotations. I, I kind of respect it, to be honest. But he's going to get nuked by the shirt in a T30 in a moment's time. Say goodbye to you, Mr. Concept. Oh, oh T30 bounced? Oh, T30s were in the stock gun, though. Excuse me, T30. Let me come through and teach this dude a little lesson about... Oh, okay. I uh, drove off a little too fast. You guys saw nothing. <clears throat> you saw nothing. You saw absolutely nothing, huh? Okay, I still got my 5k damage out. That's all that matters. Uh, but yes, you saw absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, well, that's pretty chill. Yeah, only push and counter cap on this side if you are sure you can do so safely. Uh, when I initially made my push, I said we had a med yoloing their spawn, causing massive distraction. Those heavies didn't look like the best, so it was a, a pretty easy fight for me to take there. But I wouldn't do that early game, personally. It's way too risky getting overextended enemy spawn like that. <laughs> 60 TP isn't what it used to be. 60 TP, I have not played in a while. Also tank on the stream agendas. <laughs> 279E and Blitz win? Good question. Yo, Mr. Fanis. Hey, how's it going? Paid acting nub. Huh? <laughs> By the way, after the ground tank stream, thank you for the giveaway. I received my ground tank. I love it, but... oh, or... Wait, you only just now got it? Most people got it weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Huh? <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh, I don't know if that was an intentional twice posting, but uh, please uh, do not spam. I think that was probably an accident. Sometimes that happens where you like you press send twice and your device is lagging and it, it sends the same message twice there. I assume that's the case. <laughs> I assume that's the case there. Alrighty. We have ourselves a wild concept here and we have ourselves a whole lack of accuracy. I have a whole lot of nothing in terms of allied support here. So that's just great, ain't it? All right. All right. Okay, team. You guys are... Oh my gosh, I can already tell what type of team this is going to be. This is not good for me. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine to overextend if you want there. Oh my gosh, my team is being so is going so far back. Really? Oh my goodness. This is why I hate APCR. Actually, such a trash ammo type. What are you doing, buddy? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just shoot at me. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, just... just... Uh, shoot, shoot over at me, Mr. E4. Lose all of your HP there. That, that, that's 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 fine and dandy. Let's track this dude in place so the E6 can put another shell into him. And we're going to have to back down to the right here. We don't have anyone covering that left side anymore. So let's take it nice and easy over here, E6. Nice. Could you see your DPM there, sir? The E6 is playing this pretty well, fortunately. So I might be able to rely on his tank here just a bit. And six degrees of gun depression still biting me in the back. And that's not good. All right, yeah, Mr. E6 is dead, so... Well, I, is, it, is it this cool? Isn't this just fascinating, eh? 
Ain't that just fascinating. Oof, we got one ricochet at least. Okay. I can keep holding down here for the time being. All right, let's pick up a clear on this dude at least. W. I still have some teammates cover firing to some extent here, so that's a W as well. And this dude is just kind of chilling back here. Nice. I can just keep backing up safely. Fortunately, my allies have been providing excellent cover fire. So I managed to escape. That's why I pulled down, by the way. If I tried holding top, it would not have ended very well. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to my teammates, Crossfire. They were a bit slow, but they came through clutch in the end. Let's go. Good job, guys. Bat chat still could be a potential problem here. This concept's just going to chill. And I don't... Yeah, the concept doesn't really plan on moving all that much here. The moment that girl gets spotted behind him, he's just going to rotate back and turn, I think, or... No, he's still waiting for me, but it's too late for that. Alright, there's the bat shot. Let's pull away from the bat shot here. See if there's anything you can do about the bat shot, my dude. Thank you. Quick shot. Well, that wasn't a very fun game because we were getting super hardcore pressure there in mid, but... The Yag and the 50B on the enemy team did die for it, and uh, the girl should be able to pick up this player here. Nice. All right, well played, well played. Me, the STB, and the E6 were the sacrificial pawns, basically. We had to be the ones to receive the whole push there. Fortunately, my tank got enough armor where players ricocheted just enough. I ricocheted 800, so I managed to stay alive there. Yay. Um, but not a high damage game. The grill got a lot of farm. The grill had a lot of farm in his back position there, so good cover fire by the grill. Dude was definitely pinning his shots. Um, <laughs> I can actually time people out for 10 seconds, essentially doing nothing. <laughs> Insane. Hopefully it says, uh, stays live until ice. Huh? <laughs> uh, this tank is what 113 is supposed to be. Yeah, but honestly, I think I prefer the old 113 with its 3400 damage per minute, 50 kilometer an hour top speed or 45 top speed forward. Good acceleration. And even though the didn't have the best reverse speed, uh, traverse speed, man, that tank was good. I don't know. I've just never personally vibed with this tank too much. And not because it's bad. It's a very good tank. I've just never really enjoyed playing it. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because it's so reliant on its armor. And um, the gun's good, but I still have like E5. I would pre still prefer to use the E5's gun probably for the most part. All right. 114 concept. We got an early spotting in. That's how I wanted to do there. And the concept is going to be a much better haul down tank than me in this type of scenario here. Fortunately, I can maybe... Okay, something shot at our VK. Can maybe deal with this 114, but it is a bit of a stalemate for now. So, what can I do here? The VK pinged that portion of the map so we know where one of their TDs is. That's good to know. Let's see if this 114 pressures me just a little bit. Not quite. Let's see if we can hit anyone blind back there. Maybe. Okay, Confanzer 907, Concept, WZ777. We know they have at least one TD in the back position. But I wonder if they have any TDs that crossed all the way. That's that's the real question here. I'm gonna angle up my haul here. I'm gonna risk it. If I get shot by TD, then oh well, don't poke this again. Alright. So, I've not been spot not been shot by TD yet. I think that's pretty much safe to say that their TDs are all in that back corner there. So. I can start now dealing with this concept and this other tanks here. Let's put an HG to this man. It's good stuff. And yeah, now the concept's rotating out to get a hold down position. Actually, a really good play on his part because he'll be a bit of a nuisance for my team to deal with here. And I think I probably should push the front with my allies here. What's the safest way to do this? Let's wait for my camera to reset. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I might maybe take one for the team. I might take one for the team here, but we're gonna do it. Let's push down. Let's see if we can get a max roll here for a clear. Oh my Russian goodness! Was it a Call me. Seven hundred seventy-seven. <laughs> What's up, bro? Someone said it was such an easy tank to play. Could Fire. use better traverse Fire. though. Could use Thank you very much, through. Russian disaster, for the fifty-dollar do donation. Really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, my whole team's dead. That's 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 crazy. Thank you very much, Russian disaster, for the donation there. Do appreciate that. And yes, the seven seven seven's play style is pretty straightforward. I think. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna have to push this concept here before it's too late for my whole team. Might take a shot or two from this concept. That's fine by me. Of course, he does damage my Amarak here. Nice meme. All right, we did get a good shot to him. However, now we can just try and pop that DPM. Try and give him a hard position to pen me at. There we go, another shot into the 777 or concept 1B here. I don't mind face hugging this dude. I can overmatch his upper plate pretty easily here. So I'm gonna put another shot into him. Let's gun block a little bit. You can see the gun, the hatches are so weak. Even a concept, which has no gun depression or uh, 
very look really really <laughs> we should start the clear here because i out reload them by a pretty significant margin there we go all right our vk90 is getting massacred over here before just fired all right let's see quick shot to the force roof at least it's over for me now the waffle's gonna come up and clear me out from behind here I'm fine with that, as long as I get one more shot in here. Nice. Whoop. Not today, buddy. And I'm dead. I'm very dead here. Yep, did what I could. Did what I could. Uh, my team fell apart. I probably should have been faster, to be fair, when pushing behind the heavy tanks there. It was the right play to make. I, I maybe hesitated by about 30 seconds too long there. Uh, while my heavy tanks initially made that push. VK90... Played a good game. Oh, it's Dizzy from Origin. So, good player. Me and the VK, as you can see, did excellent work. Our uh, BZ, though, did zero. Our TI2 did zero. I didn't even realize we had a Hori. I guess he did uh, a shot and a half. And then IS7 STV didn't really do all that great. Um, KPZ in a 907 versus an STB, a T92. And I think a Hori on that side. STB, T92, Hori. Yeah, maybe I can see. Maybe they got out outmatched. I think what happened there was our meds were too aggressive. Still not a fan of dead rail because when you lose med side, it's just it's so jover. It's it's almost impossible to make a recovery there. That's why we had the pressure of the heavy side there. But if I could have been a little faster, maybe. Seems like families you can't pick them. You have to live with them. <laughs> Yes, could could use better traverse though. I I do agree with that Russian disaster. The traverse speed on the um, on the 777 can be a little painful here and there. It's not bad though. It's not bad. Like I I do have to consider the armor profile of the tank and giving it too much traverse to just make it broken. I think it's in a pretty good state in terms of balancing. It has enough weaknesses to counter out its strengths to where it's going to be very solid, but not so solid to the point where it's just going to be the most broken tier 10. If they gave it too much traverse and stuff like that, it might be a bit more problematic to deal with. So, I do think it's in a fairly balanced state right now. And it's still one of the stronger tier 10 heavies. Let's see. I am going to just go to this bush and spot up for now. My team is split. And they have an IS-7, a mill, and a mouse, as well as a 268. They have a bash on Theon and a T-54. So, decent chance their team actually comes this way. There we go. We do get spotted from that position. Let me take a shot in case the 57... Is not the one that spotted me, but it does appear to be the case. And you know what? I'm gonna cross. I'm gonna mm, 452k to get nuked for it though. But no one else has been spotted on this side. I don't know if they're all hugging this corner or not. I can side scrape off this corner if they're here. And well, I really was not expecting the Emil to be there, but we can deal with this Emil without too many problems here. So what I might have to end up doing is just to take an L shot from the Emil here. There we go. Rotate in. And just ignore him and deal with the IS-7 here. So, IS-7 is pushing up over here. Just put a quick shot towards the side. Not quite able to. He does overmatch my drive wheel here. I'm being a, maybe a little bit too aggressive on this side. But I kind of have to be. Uh, my allies are going to get over massively overtaken here. I'm just going to try and get to a safe position for now. $4.99 from his royal stake. Hope you had a good day. Let's see. Okay, we can get hold on at least. We can at least get hold on here. Of course, the IS-7 to overextend a little bit. Maybe he might be able to turret ring pen me here. Yep, he does. Okay, that's that's just fantastic. I don't know what my team's doing, to be honest. They're doing a whole lot of nothing. At least I do out-reload this IS-7, though. So let's put another heat shell in here to him. Nice. And let's see. Nothing pulling up behind me, right? Yeah, nothing's pulling up behind me. You can see, yeah, in terms of its actual frontal armor, it could be a little bit of an L on this tank. APCR standard. We are just getting penned over and over again through the front of the turret here and, and the hatches and stuff like that by this silly IS-7 here who doesn't even have the DPM to compete. And I'm going to have to rotate it down through here. Ah! I threw my take away. I was hoping if I did it slowly enough, I'd be able to get away. Yeah. Honestly, look at that turret armor. Hat shot, hat shot. I wasn't even sitting stationary for those shells. We do win this game by a long shot. I, maybe I shouldn't have dropped down just banked on the ice and ricocheting there. I was just hoping if I slowly dropped off there, I'd be good. But that's just kind of funny. Um, I think that's why I just dislike this tank, to be honest. It's way too reliant on its armor. But in terms of an actual brawl, its armor is not really good. It's good in a side scrape. It's good at like slight distance, but... The IS-7 was, he only penned a single shell with AP through the hull, at the front of the hull there, right? Every other shot was through the viewfinders on top of the turret there. It's just, 
mean, that's an IS-7. That tank has nowhere near as much DPM. But, it and, and it doesn't even have good penetration either. Like, this player's probably okay, but probably not the best. Yeah, 52%. And yet, you can see this hatch here, right above the, the gun, is an easy auto pen, and both of the big hatches up top. All right, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Suicide mission, basically. You know, sometimes you can actually make it down through there without taking too much damage if you hit it at a slight angle when you're backing and you let the tracks take most of the fall damage there. That's what I was kind of trying to do there, uh, going down at a slight angle, but I guess I didn't angle it out properly. So unfortunately, I my tank dead. It's okay. <laughs> Never ever jump. No, no, no. There are actually ways you can jump from there and, and minimize the amount of fall damage you take. There is actually a way of doing it, but I think I just didn't angle my tank correctly there. I know I've jumped from there many times. I haven't played pubs in 30 days. <laughs> Oof, waiting for that matchmaker to get removed. I see. I see. Uh, does the middle hatch have a hitbox? Mm, maybe. I don't think it's really visible most of the time. Man, these keys are super long. I don't have same control mode on by chance, do I? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay, I guess the master just likes to take his sweet old time. I was thinking forty was coming up behind the I-7. You could have survived. The 140 would not have gone- The 114 would not have gone there in time. The only chance was that the I-7 ricocheted off of me. And as you can see, the dude penned like four shots in a row through the turret. While I was hauled out, while I was moving, and while I was also trying to kind of gun block his shells there. It's just not as good haul down as you would expect. It it's good enough, but... Yeah, it's it could be surprisingly disappointing in a brawl, uh, the 777. Unless you've set up a side scrape. If you can set up a side scrape, it's fantastic. But you have to rely on being able to side scrape in this tank a lot of times. And or or if players just don't know about the hatch weak spot. If players don't know about the weak spot on the turret, it's fine. You you will destroy them. But most players by now are well aware of how easy this tank's hatches are to pen. Alright, let's put a quick shot towards this Leo there. Good stuff. The I-7 also crossing back this way. I don't know if he's going to give me a shot or not. He may or may not. Does, looks, doesn't look like it. Let me see if I can get one shot into these meds at all. One more, maybe. Or maybe the IS-7 will give me a free shell here. Let's see. Come on, Mr. IS-7. Yep, record a little bit more. Thank you. Perfect. It's kind of crazy just how bad shell normalization is on AP shells, though. As you saw there, um, the IS-7's hull was way, way more red than it should have been given the pen, but that's just because it's APCR standard. If it was AP standard, I could have just AP pen the front of that IS-7 like it was nothing. That's why I really despise APCR as a standard shell type, uh, or as any really type of ammo. It, I don't like it very much. It's kind of just like, eh. All right, let's pick up a quick clear on this Leo. We'll have to watch out for the TDs back here. That's why I'm kind of hugging this inside ridge. That way I don't overextend and get myself nuked by a tank destroyer. And the Progetto is rotating back, so something to be aware of. There's the Sheridans. Put a quick shot on the him there. Nice. And do I still have support from one of the heavies here? Not really. And oh, wow. So the 183 flanked all the way around behind. Interesting. How very, very interesting indeed. And the Progetto is also yellowing for me now. Let's angle up our hull a little bit here. I'm actually going to focus out the 180 APCR, man. I cannot stand it. My field tanks are damaged there. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Of course, of course. Any damage is fine. Let's track the 183 in place here. And he's just gonna splash me with a head shot, probably. Oh, or not, or not, or not. There we go. Okay, team, I have a prog, an IS-7 shooting me, a 183 pushing in on me. Surely you guys can do something. What happened to my E100? Oh, are you under cut in? I thought I had an E100 with me there still. Ay, yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice the 183 rotating around. Apparently, he must have rotated around when I was not poking that corner too aggressively. But the 183 is basically dead for it, and we will win this game. We will win the game. I did take at least two of their guns out of the fight there. And the IS-7, who was shooting at me. So my team basically were... Let's see, I was three on one. So yeah, they were... They were six on four on this side in terms of where their enemy team was aiming. So, uh, T-100? I don't know about this play, my dude. But I respect your commitment to focusing the Projeto. Bro, why are you still talking about stats? <laughs> Qs are insane with SPM. It takes a minimum of a minute to get into the game while MM is looking for all donkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. We win. We do win. We do win. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'll take it. I'll take the W. Not really a farm fest there. 
Kind of wanted to farm a little bit more, but oh well. Wrench Jeff, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. Do appreciate that. Oh, Russian Disaster, you even got a membership at the channel. 3,000 damage dealt, only 350 blocked. Yeah. Yep, that's about right. If you did receive a membership from Red Jeff, please send your thanks in chat. Of course, it is appreciated. Alrighty. Man, I was cooking in this tank. I played like four or five games in it uh, before the stream. I was averaging 4,700, but I guess now it's just not cooking. I don't know. Yeah, I still just do not like this tank. I can't even explain why. There's a reason I haven't played it like at all since I last streamed it. It's just, eh. It's just eh for me, for my personal play style. I, I am, as you guys know, I'm 100% best when I'm playing medium tanks or light tanks and mobile heavies or TDs, like super mobile heavies or TDs. Like I do want the 50B, E5, 2 and 5B. Um, in terms of tank destroyers, sometimes I do well in the slower ones, but most part it's just, I, I just like my fast tanks. I like my fast tanks. <laughs> my membership expires tomorrow. Oof. <laughs> Unlucky. All right, let's see what we got here. My teammates want to go town instead of taking mid. Lovely as per usual, but the Bashatillon did not go mid side, so that's a very interesting decision by by Mr. Bashatillon. T100 LT also still being quite aggressive up here. He doesn't really have anywhere to run to, so I'm actually going to push a little bit more up top. Nice. But I don't want to overextend here, as there's actually maybe a pretty decent chance the enemy team is... Um, all going town. Okay, they are going town. There's the T100 LT. This tank's too short. My tank's too short. I didn't even have shots on them. And I do get fired at by a tank destroyer over there. And let's see. The VK45 OTP is up top. I'll probably just rotate through mid, maybe? Or no, actually, I should hold here. The reason I should hold here is we don't really have any crossfires, like, anywhere from my team. All right, let's see. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Tunnel Vision Indy over here. And the accuracy on the tank saying L. Thank you very much, accuracy. Always appreciate that. But the car is just kind of sitting in the open here. Um, E6 is trying to back out. I can chill here. E6, just back out, dude. Don't even bother trying E6, oh my gosh, dude. You're practically just throwing your tank away at this point, Mr. E6. All right, let's put a quick shot to the bat shot here. Nice. Now, this is where the tank should be pretty good. In a good old-fashioned sad scrape, we should have no problem ricocheting most of the shells here. And we do not. I think I'll just Five dollars from an assault. Yeah, triple seven for me. Kind of a letdown. That's why I play Super Conqueror more <laughs> Super than this Super Conqueror tank more. It's way more flexible. Yeah, I, I, I think that there is a good point in that. Thank you very much for the five dollar do donation. Um, not sure how to pronounce that name. Lesson, lesson, lesson. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Okay, Mr. Batchat. I see how it is, Mr. Batchat. Oh no! Oh, come on, gun. Do you mind? Still have a decent angle here. We're gonna have to watch out for the T one hundred LT soon. Batchat's still trying to shoot at me. Quite adorable. He does ricochet on me again. But I'm gonna have to back up even more here. And as you can see, my teammates are actually just kind of throwing their tanks away at the moment. So, I'm gonna see if I can start working down this T30 just a little bit. There we go. Quick shot to the T30 here. I actually have to back up quite a bit because we know that T100 LT is flanking my and my allies here. Let's hope for a bit of a high roll, maybe. Actually gonna keep backing up, get safe, get safe. Let's see if we can angle up the hall a little bit. Nice, we do manage to angle up the hall. Big shot into this man's here. And where are the rest of my allies at? I'm not really sure where they're all at. Oh no, that's a super conqueror, okay. Yeah, it's just a jover for me, to be honest. Just too many tanks pushing in. Too many tanks pushing in for me to deal with. Alrighty. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's put a shot into this dude's tracks at least. And you know what? Let's use him as cover from the Super Conk at least. There we go. I'm gonna use him as a decent amount of cover here from the S Conk. Nice, nice. I'm gonna try and not give him an easy hat shot here. Good clear. Version 4 is coming in now. Same with the Super Conqueror. I did what I could given what I had, which was a not very good team. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Gun block, gun block, gun block, gun block. Nice. We do manage to gun block that player at least. All right, let's put another shell to him. And I'm dead from behind at this point. Yeah, it's just Jover. Jover for your boy. Oh my, what a special team. What a bunch of special players, man. A grill and a T30. That's all they were facing on that side. A grill, the T30, and the VK45. Uh, I did 5.3. I actually cooked up pretty well there. 
Oh gosh, A3 did zero, or 54 also did zero. I, I lost all faith the moment I saw these two heavies to mobile haul down heavy tanks that have very bad armor on flat terrain going town going towards the, like the temple side like you do not take those tanks temple side man you clear med side you get haul down you have a good fight those two players kind of um yeah i, I already figured that game was going to end in a loss to be honest but we did farm up a decent amount of damage there i will happily take it i was on discord bridge when that happened i was wondering why my truck was swinging left to right a little bit Oh, Discord. I said Discord. Discord Bridge. Oh, is that uh, with a recent earthquake somewhere in uh, around New York, I think, right? I don't remember. <laughs> 96 percent, 50, 16, 60.15 uh, percent, 30 days. I'm getting good in this game. Good job. Good job. All right. I can I can stay, but I will leave this thing in the background. Have a good have a good night, Fantasy Chat. Thank you, Jack. Take care. Did 5k plus and still lost? Yeah, that's not abnormal to be honest. Most actually a good portion of high damage games tend to be losses. I just want managed to do easy zero damage in E3. Actually, it's surprisingly easy to do zero in E3. If you really take a moment to consider, the tank has massive, very weak drive wheels. It can get permatracked very easily. It's not super mobile. And it doesn't have a turret. So, like, collectively, all those things combined can make it Real quite question. painful. Real question. Super, Super Conk or AMX-54? AMX Super Conk. That, that's, that's my choice, personally. It's the Super Conk. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Well, yeah, this game is kind of jover, I think. We've already lost hill, and our heavy tanks are just yellowing. E5, instead of going haul down on the hill, it's just yellowing. Wait, one waffle. That's four tanks there. Four tanks there, which means only one waffle could be covering the hill. The Batch and 62A are both here. Okay, I'm actually going to try and retake the hill back from the enemy team. That's going to be the play here. So, what I'm going to do here is we're going to first focus on Mr. Batchat. I don't really care if the Waffle puts a shot or two into me. Because right now, we absolutely need the hill here. We absolutely need the hill here. Alright, let's see. Alright, Mr. Batchat. There we go. Batchat gets taken out. Waffle just fired again. You know what? I'm going to take the... I'm going to actually take the L and just take the 1v1 brawl here. Just put a quick shot into this dude and angle my tracks up. Oh no, the Vickers decided he doesn't want to help me out. That, that's fantastic, Vickers. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate the complete lack of support here, dude. Alright, Mr. 62A. He should, he should not have too much gun depression to shoot me here. I'm pushing him up, up this ridge here and pinning him in place so he doesn't have good shots on me. The only problem is I do see a, a tank pushing it behind me a little bit here. Oh my gosh, I missed my fire button. That's so dumb. Dude, this team... This absolutely diabolical team. Oh, thanks, Vickers. Thanks, dude. Yeah, man. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, called it. E5, IS7, 1E3. Vickers providing zero support when we needed to retake the hill. The grill is doing fine, doing grill things. I love mines when you're, when your silly teammates don't understand how the map works. Why do they have to push encounter cap? This map has been released. Since the game was released and players are still haven't learned that pushing this side of the map is at the start of the game is the easiest way to just throw. We had an E5, we had an IS-7, we could have retaken hill from the enemy at any moment there. I don't understand, man. And also, Object 777 armor profile, once again, absolutely failing in the brawl versus the 62A, even in a face hug. It's just, yeah, I don't like this thing very much, if you can't tell. <laughs> It's easy to play, but it's way too reliant on its armor. Timid, thank you for the ten dollar donation. Nine really appreciate that. Ninety nine cents from underscore oh, the underscore goodness, timid man. underscore savage underscore. Uh, that's quite the name I had to read out there. So our girl did fine. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, Forty four did zero, and a 54, 42 did zero. So we had two medium lights there that provided me zero support when I went to help take the hill from the enemy team. Our E five, instead of going ill yells and counter cap, does two shots and dies. And our 183 looks like he pushed out too prematurely. I think, yeah, yeah, that was just one of those. That was just one of those teams of all time, man. <laughs> See, you're having fun here. What's up, Nido? No, I'm not. I don't like the 777. I, I, I have not played this tank since I streamed it like a year ago, and now I, now I remember why. I actually genuinely do not like playing this tank. It's way too reliant on its armor profile, in my opinion. To really do anything. Only thing I'm playing in modes these days, these 
teams are not just bottoms they are the, the ones that knock on the bottom front from below <laughs> Exactly. And it's not even that the tank's bad per se. Like in that scenario, even if I was in my more favorite heavy tank, like an E5 or a 215B, the outcome would not have been really all that different. The problem was we had two meds that provided zero support on the hill there. We had two heavies just basically throw their tanks away at encounter cap for free. And the grill was the only player doing anything, but he couldn't provide me cover fire. So like I had to retake hill for my team to have even the slightest chance of winning this game, but it was just not going to happen. I went, I went to take the aggressive brawl because I didn't see any other choices. Hmm, so the enemy team did not go this way. Interesting. I'm just getting a little bit more aggressive because I don't like sitting around just for my teammates to all die. Let's see if we can spawn anyone up in their spawn first. Maybe there will be, maybe there won't. You do have to be kind of careful overextending in the enemy spawn. 752 is just fired once and there's a tank that spotted me from the bridges. So that's something I'll be aware of. But we can definitely clear this tank out pretty quickly here. He's way overextended. All right, so that tank would be a Kovpanzer. Good to know. All right, let's put another shot to this man's here. Nice, and that's a TVP. So I'm going to start angling up my hull. There we go. That side scrape profile working quite well there. Put another shell in and angle up our hull just a little bit more there. Perfect stuff. All right. Oh, wow, that's a Rat 71. Was not expecting him to be there, but he's not quite looking at me just yet. Okay, he's looking at me now. Holy, what is this steam, dude? The steam is, like, actually tripping. Tripping me up. Like, look. Uh, okay, it's not doing it anymore. That steam was, like, really annoying. <laughs> okay, we can side scrape here. Perfect. Now we're set up. Now we're set up to just sit here and, and say hello to this Type 71 who is trying to demonstrate his tank's superior armor profile to me. And it's working because my gun is not being very snappy. Hello, Type 71. Or Amex M4 MLE. I'll put a shot to you first. Nice. Alrighty, we'll focus the lower HP targets here. Although we are very much winning this game, so... We don't really need to, although, yeah, this dude just gave me a free hold down profile. Lovely. And we don't know where the Yeager's positioning is. Oh, hello, Mr. Yeager. Oh, he can definitely turret pen me, no problem. Just poke me type. Poke me. Mm -hmm. Okay, he doesn't have good shots on me. Let's just heal the type here for some extra damage. Nice. Get that weak hall spot. There we go. Should be okay against this type here. Like I was going to say, I should focus that dude if I need to, but I don't need to. Good stuff. Alrighty. Alrighty, already. Hello, hello, hello. Please don't be a nuisance for me. Thank you, good sir. See, this type here, this type doesn't really know about the turret weak spot. So that's why we're just bullying him like it's nothing. If that type was shooting hat shots at me, he probably would have penned me there, no problem. So you kind of have to bank if you're going to go for a face hug that people don't know about this tank's turret problems. So easy to build up free XP and Uprising too. Oh yeah, Uprising's goaded for grinding. By the way, good to see you, Nido. Hope you're doing well. It's pretty late or extremely early where you are, I'm sure. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Bro, the bot reading that. I know, Timmy. The bot was like, huh? <laughs> WZ113 or Object777. I mean, I'm just going to say go with the 113. The reason I'm going to say that is it's free. You can get the 113 for free. And I think fundamentally, the 113 probably has the most similar playstyle to the 777. The only difference being that the 113 has less alpha damage. Um, I don't know if it has less hull traverse speed. It might, but it does have better like forward speed. And I would actually argue to some extent the 113's turret armor can be better because its, its hatches are actually a lot stronger than they would make you think. So, let's set up the early spotting crossfire here. They do have a mouse and a VK90 and a 57 tanks. I don't really want to face frontally. But if I don't have a choice, I don't mind. Okay, let's see. Is this VK going to poke up? No. All right, let's see. This mouse may or may not be giving me shots here in just a moment. So, let's see if we can capitalize on that. Very nice. Okay. I think that hurt a little bit more there, buddy. Thank you very much. Mouse in kind of a... I'm not going to pop the adrenaline yet. I don't think he's going to really commit to this position here. Another heat shot. Nice. I do love that 340 heat. Very saucy indeed. And the mouse is just trying to farm my allies out here. So like, like yeah, yeah, brother. Uh, yeah. Okay. Damaging his gun doesn't, isn't the worst. All right, let's see. BZ. They still have an M60. Ooh, they still have a, uh, a 57 heavy that's unspotted at the moment. Let's put an AP shell into this dude's turret. Nice. So the VK90 is overextended so ever so slightly here. And there is Mr. Mousy Poo. Let's angle up our hall a little bit. Nice. We can keep our angles here. 
I do want to be a little careful about overextending down on to that VK90 as yeah I don't know about the crossfires okay at least we know where the 57 is I was more concerned about the 57 than anything all right Mr. Mouse so I am getting shot by the patent now but the mouse has just been getting free farmed so this is this is chill there's the BZ Big shot into this dude. I gotta watch out for that BZ there. Oh, the BZ might be giving me a free shot here, actually. Let's aim in for his side. Nice. We can pull back safely. I will kill this VK when the time's ripe, too. Although you'll see that this BZ here is, is starting to pull up a little bit. So, how's our flank doing? Our flank is completely in the open. Okay, that's 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 news for me to back down from here. I may or may not get shot by the Fosh. I'm not too concerned about that. Or the 57. My my primary concern now will just be getting safe. Alright, let's put another shot towards this dude. And okay, the gun says nope. TVP might have the clear, but TVP fluffs his clear. There's that shot from the Fosh I was anticipating, but I have to pull down to a safe position now. As my team is down 0 3. That's actually crazy, guys. How'd you pull that off? Hmm. I have a chieftain for cover fire at least. I'm gonna bank on that chieftain's cover fire at like nothing else. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, just point and shoot. You didn't even aim that, and look at that. Top of the turret just penned. I... Ah, this gun. I mean, this turret armor is such a letdown, honestly. It can be such a letdown. That dude didn't even aim that, and he penned that. And this gun, apparently, is less accurate. Oh my goodness. I'm doing what I can here, but our chieftain's now preoccupied. I still have a 57 kind of on me. Okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Pat, M60. You know what? No, 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 no point in turning my hall here. I'll just take the fight that I can. I'm dead now. <sighs> dead to the M60, if nothing else yet. Nice team, absolutely. Um, Chieftain didn't do anything really. 907 overextended. TVP rotated out, but he should not have thrown his tank away. He should have gone corner. And then, uh, yeah, 183 is just in spawn. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, yes, the sadly taking a break from Blitz vibes. <laughs> it's pure farming machine, especially against heavies that side scrape set up. I actually enjoy grinding uh, somewhat. Kind of reminds me of old IS4. Yeah. Russian disaster 777 might be more your cup at sea. I mean, I still did 4,000 and I still blocked. Oh my. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Chieftain, well played. T57 heavy, 9 damage, 43% win rate. M60, 44% win rate, 0 damage. Object 907, 49%, 0 damage. We basically had 3 donuts, a 300... Wait, oh my gosh. Okay, excluding me and the Chief to Mark 6, my 5 allies combined didn't break 1,000 damage. Ah, SBMM. I can't wait till Wargaming removes it. <laughs> No wonder we got ratted on, dude. Holy smokes. Okay, that explains everything. Dude. Oh, man, you should have been dead, Lazone. Not gonna lie. Two of those shots missing you that should not have missed. Two pretty easy turret shots on the whole side of your turret. I'm like, bruh. Well, that explains. Is the M4MLE on the stream agenda? Eventually. I don't like the M4MLE very much. It's gun is pretty trash in my opinion. After it's alpha got nerfed. When I had the alpha, it definitely was good. Oh, finally. A good side scraping map. <laughs> bro, bro got shafted by the team. I know. I was like, wait, how how are we just losing so badly? Like we worked on the mouse. The VK was in a bad spot. Um Yeah, that's why. Five teammates combined did not break a thousand damage. Like that's crazy. In an all tier 10 matchup where five players do less than a thousand combined. That, that just should not be a thing, man. But then again, if you're stacking a bunch of 43 percenters in one team, it definitely is a thing. As much as I hate to say it. All right. Oh, hello. So we get pent through the lower plate already. Fortunately for me, I am in a decent position to side scrape out here. So I'm going to put a quick shot into this man's. Perfect. Um, Team, surely you're not gonna let this 57 overextend like that and just shoot me, right? Yeah, that's that, that, that's right. Okay, perfect. All right, 5A, let's track him in place. Um, apparently he overmatches the front of my hall there, which I don't think he usually would should be able to, but oh well. But now that he's shell to him because he is not hiding his thing correctly there, but this is still a pretty good setup for me. I can still side scrape comfortably here. 
And this 57 is bound to back up soon. And you know what? This 5A is AFK, I think. Or he's just distracted. No, he's just distracted. So I'm gonna take this. I'm definitely gonna take this engagement. Let's get the 57 while he's stuck in the open. Oop, nice. And uh, he does unfortunately manage to hit me there, but we will win the side very easily, I think. Let's focus the 57 out. A bit more of an issue. Okay, 114. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. You wanna you wanna you wanna tunnel my tank here. That's so cool, dude. Oh my gosh, of course I get pens too. What is this, dude? And the 5A is still tunneling for me here. I just gotta make sure I don't take a shot from this 5A. Perfect. Okay. Alright, let's try not to give him an Amorak on me. Teammates! Teammates, hello! Nice, I can just run away from this dude, at least for now. Oh my gosh, of course there's a 140 there. I'm dead. I am so dead. Bless this 140, like, massively low rolls me. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, what on earth is our 62A Minotauro and M4 doing here? What on earth, man? They let this- they let this- this 114 just YOLO in, but they just were not killing the 5A, who wasn't even shooting at them. Oh my... <sighs> Oh my gosh, I can't wait till this matchmaker gets removed. By the way, if you're curious, I'm almost 100% positive the press account is fully emerged in this SBMM with a almost 80% win rate. So I, I'm going to get some of the worst teams imaginable. And these last two games have definitely kind of confirmed that. Like, M4, instead of just pushing the heavy side with us, decided to yell the mouse. I don't know how our 57 died. I don't even understand how they didn't kill the 5A. The 5A wasn't looking at him and he was on 500 hit points there. Like, what? <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm already tired of playing this tank. It's gonna retire till next time I stream it, if I stream it again. Dude, what? We had an IS-7, 45-0, AMX, 46, one shot, 57, 45, one clip, 49 grill, uh -huh. 50%. The 62A was the only like player that actually did more than I expected. Oh my goodness, man. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I want one more good game this tank. With these kind of uh, troll ricochets, I can still enjoy 777 at times. I don't like it. I definitely don't. I never did. I remember last stream I actually was talking about how I disliked the tank. Last time I played the tank about a year ago. You're just getting YOLO rushed and suppress the name. Dude, it's not me getting YOLO. This is the problem there. It's the fact that my teammates are all doing... One, two, three shot, zero to three shots in their tier 10 heavy tanks and providing no support. <laughs> have you tried playing on some bad stat account that is not yours in SBMM? No, I have not, but I can know, I, I, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen people playing on those accounts and it's me. Don't overangle the sides. Yeah, I know, but sometimes you don't really have much of a choice. For instance, when you, when you are getting pushed on, you can't just sit there with your front plate facing them. You gotta try and bait the drive wheels to some extent. But I do know. I do know about the weak spots along the turret there. That's something that can't really be helped and I don't know. I'm gonna have, I definitely need to play something else towards the end of the stream. I'm not enjoying this tank in the slightest. I know the teams are just being like extra bad right now but the tank is kind of just annoying me this whole time. Alright, so we have a wild Kranwagen. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Smallest little spot. Barely even gave him a shell there. Let's see. 50 B's yellowing in quite aggressively. E100 is also yellowing quite aggressively. Of course. 50 B's yellowing now. E6 is yellowing now. My team is wandering. Or E100 is wandering. This is just fantastic. Oh, didn't know I had HE loaded there. Rip. Hey, 268. Nuke these lads. Nuke them. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking 268. Alright, let's focus the 100 since he's lower. Nice. Oh boy, my last ally is Dej, Sag. I still have a 268 for cover fire though. Are E100 and IS-7 are wandering into Narnia? Okay, that, that explains everything. That explains absolutely everything. Oh, okay, the gun trolling me. I was like, there's no way it should be this bad on this side, but I, I see now. I see what the problem is. We have quite literally two heavies just yellowing into the enemy spawn. And they're not even really winning that side. And we had to deal with the whole counter- Me and this poor Fosh had to deal with the whole counter push over on this end of the map. Alright, let's track the 50B maybe. Not quite able to track him, but we do bring him down to a one shot, which is important. Oh yeah, E100 hits me with a nice AP pen shot, and 50B also pens me right through the top of the turret. Thank heavens I have that turret armor, boys. 
<laughs> At least the 268's covering me. I banked on the 268's cover fire here. Excellent cover fire by you, good sir. And that just leaves the Kron. And the Bashat Theon, who hopefully won't be too much of a problem here. Oh, six degrees. I got a pressure and I was hoping it would tank down a little bit faster. Well, I mean, we won. Thank you, 268, for your cover fire there. Because we may not have won that if we didn't have that goaded 268 covering us. Because this IS-7, Yo, and E-100 were just YOLOing the opposite side. I don't even know why. Like, like, what was the point of that YOLO? Hello, Mr. Batchat. Come back here. Oh my gosh, the bat chat's gonna yellow into the 100. It's over. Oh, he wanted the kill. <laughs> Bruh. Even the E100 with his terrible accuracy. You can see how low down they can pin your hatches, too. Play the farming sim that is 57 at the end. I just stringed the 57, though, so probably not. Did do top, but like, holy smokes, man. What are these heavy tanks? 46, 45, 44. Dude, every team. All my heavies were like bumped up below 45%. This explains why it's going so poorly. I'll take it. Uh, let me let me show you the alternative, guys. This is the alternative. 340, 300. Holy smokes. 300 and what is that? 345 heat? 345 heat pen. Standard. Rammer. Less DPM, sure. This is the alternative to the 777. <laughs> it's over time for 263 stream. That's also on the agenda. Thank you very much, Hita, for the donation. $1.99 from Hita. It's overdue time for a 263 only 752 stream. is literally true, 10 tier 9. I hate that so much. 7 752 Loki better. Because <laughs> its gun is just juiced. Let me uh, let me run a game in the 113 here. Which I will stream eventually at some point soon as well. Uh, if I haven't done it recently. This one is free. It's fundamentally the same tank too. But I would argue I prefer the 113's armor profile because it's completely flat, but it's nicely angled. It's great at side scraping. You don't have to worry about any weird spots around the edge of the turret. The tank is also faster. As you can see, the acceleration is already a lot better on the 113 here. Uh, if this I-7 stops side hugging, that is. I-7, get off my side. So there's the whole road. Okay, perfect. Yeah, tank will easily go up to about 45 here. The traverse speed even feels pretty solid. And the gun is great on the 113. It's it's not as good as it was, but it still hits pretty hard. The aim time is definitely a little bit eh on the tank. And alpha is a lot lower than it than it used to be. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Enemy tanks are already pushing up on towards through C cap here. I'm just gonna spot up this crossing a little bit. Let's see. Oh man, the 113's traverse speed's really good. Wow. Look at that difference. Look at that traverse speed difference, by the way. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, 113 Supremacy, let's go. Oh, that's unlucky. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. This waffle is overextended a little bit. One high explosive shot to him there. Looks like the HE isn't gonna be doing too much in my favor here, so I'm just gonna shoot AP. Let's try and not break my... Nice, okay, let's just clear this dude out. Look how fast the 113 is. Oh, this is so much more my type of play style. See how quickly you can just rotate around to make a counter push here. Okay, let's pull back from the 57 real quick. We can pick up a clear on this dude in the moment. Turret roof ricochets. Let's go. Now, of course, this 57 can easily overmatch my hull here, but I'm just going to over angle it a little bit in order to try and throw him off here. And we do manage to do that. Now we're going to continue pushing. Heck yeah, look how much faster the 113 is, though. It's actually crazy. This thing is so much more mobile. All right, quick shot into this man's ear. He might just YOLO in for me or... Going for the other player here. Let's go. Let's retrack him as well. Or ooh, HE. Nice. 460 high explosive there. He should get taken out by the I-7, I think. So, yep. I-7 ram kill. Nice. Yeah, man. This is what I'm talking about. Now, this is what a is uh, what a versatile heavy should be like. Already enjoying this tank way more. <laughs> I'm already enjoying it so much more than the other one. Not really sure why my heavies are pulling that way. I just like how quickly I can rotate around and do things in this vehicle. Versus the um, the good old-fashioned other heavy tank. Alright, let's see. Yeah, make sure the B is overextended. Okay, well, getting a 330 roll is kind of a scam, not gonna lie. Alright, Mr. TVP, we get it. We get it, Mr. TVP. We get it. We get it. You want a tunnel there, buddy. We get it. We get it. You can, you can chill now. Boop, DPM goes ham, 4,500 damage dealt already. Very saucy indeed. The bat chat did just shoot. It's a little bit heat shell. Nice. All right, the bat chat could be problematic here, so I'm going to start rotating back for him just a little bit here. 
Fat shot way overextended here. Come on. Oh my gosh, E100. The big old fat tank blocked me there. Okay, you know what? We're gonna win the cap. I'm just gonna take the brawl against the I-7 here. Load up some heat shells, maybe, right through the front of the turret. Good stuff. Can angle up the hull quite well, too. Get a bit better watch down in case this batch tries clipping me here. Nice. Batch got debated. And it's Jober. Good stuff. This is what I'm talking about. This is what my type of heavy tank is like. One that's very mobile. Has a very, very decent gun. Still has a good armor profile, right? And this I-7 doesn't... It can't really do much against my tank here. This is just what a what a all-round good heavy tank should be like for me, personally. This is what I like to see in a heavy tank. Alright, buddy. One last pen. Thank you. Look how effective that hull armor is, too. Like, straight up. That hull armor is great, right? It, like, against an A... Especially against an I-7. It actually works well in a face hug. <sighs> I feel so happy. That was such a fun game. This is this is a much better tank. A much, much better tank. I mean, come on, man. 6,700 damage dealt. It only took one game for me to do way more damage than I ever did in the 777. So I'm going to be fair with you. The 113, in my opinion, isn't quite as good as it used to be when it had 420 alpha before they dropped it to 400, but it still cooks. Traverse buff really helped. Yeah, the Traverse is really good on the 113. Actually, I want to check now. I want to compare the 113's Traverse on the hull and turret to the 777's because I'm genuinely curious now. 30, okay, so it's almost 3300 DPM, so it has better DPM. It has 345 heat pen, way better heat pen. It accuracy is arguably better, I think, in some regards. Same gun depression, 45 top speed, 15 reverse. And let's see. So turret traverse is 24, hull traverse is th almost 39. So 24 and almost 39. And 777 is... That's crew. Running at... Under 3,100 DPM, 340, slightly less heat pen, standard, still good. Six degrees of gun depression. Funnily enough, same top speed, but 19 traverse on the turret and 30 traverse on the hull. So eight degrees less on the hull and five degrees less on the turret. That makes a big difference. We're also not really considering terrain resistance. 99, 91, and 70, and 113's terrain resistance would be... Um, 110... 85 and 65 so it even has like arguably better terrain resistance so yeah i guess i should get 113 113 cooks guys it actually cooks it's it ain't perfect <laughs> that was my second game of the tank it ain't perfect um but if i were to choose between playing the 113 and the um 777, I'd probably choose the 113. I don't think I'd like the 260, though. 260 kind of mid. Chieftain's also not a bad choice. What else do we have? Oh, Type 71, Loki, not a bad choice. It doesn't have it as much in the gun, but, I mean, that tank is just so, so dumb. Okay. So, I have enough time. I think I'll get another game in here or there. Let's do the 183 as per, as per usual. Let's end it with a Chad 183 game. That, one th that 113 game is good. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you been playing in uh platoons in SBMM? I tried once and it wasn't a fun experience, so I just decided not to play SBMM on my account till it's the matchmaker's removed. <laughs> Basically, I just play game modes now when I'm not streaming. That's the that there's the joyful fat as we all know and love. Dude, it's crazy. You put me in a heavy tank or a slow TD, that's not really my play style, and I'm just like not happy. So not happy. And here's what I don't really understand about the 777 is on paper, it should be like kind of up my alley. I mean, a 45 kilometer an hour top speed heavy with 3k GPM, 430 alpha. Like there's a lot of things that the tank has going for it that I should like. But when it comes to its actual like how it performs, not my style. It's a good tank, just not up my alley. I don't like playing it and tanks I don't like playing, I generally play it worse as well. So that is something to be also aware of. Okay, but the 113. All it took was one game to uh, to prove my point about the 113 being a uh, absolute chat of a heavy tank. Oh my gosh, look at that lower plate. Enemy armor is damaged. Okay, I gotta get out of here fast before I get hashed by another 183 or something. Faster, faster, faster. Lovely. Oh, the 183 ain't even here. Alright, well, good start to the game. We already done nuke to that man's there, so lovely stuff indeed. Um, there's a 5A up here. There's a Yag crossing up top. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Come on, scope in, scope in, scope in. Oh my, the pre-aim on that was perfect. 1100 damage there. Good stuff. So that tells us their whole team's positioning. 
good stuff. Okay. Um, my two meds are about to die, though. So, I only really have one option left, which is to kill this dude and get out of here. Which is exactly what I plan on doing here. Alright, we got his side here. Let's clear his tank out. And let's push up through B as quickly as possible. I need to get to a position where my allies can cover me. So... Run faster! 183, run faster! Faster, 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 faster. Get safe. Young 183, you must get safe. Okay, the CS is not paying attention. They're too busy killing my allies here. So, let me uh, hit that SOS button. Let's see if this bat trap makes a mistake here. Okay. One can hope. One can only hope. Come on, little bat chat I know you're still around here somewhere. Oh, he, I can't even spot him. That's crazy. I can't even ask spot him. What, he crossed all the way through there unspotted? Yo, that's crazy. Bombed. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm at 4k damage. We're cooking. We are slowly but surely creating quite the gourmet feast over here. Although it is still a relatively close game, so I should take it easy. Knowing the CS's and Type 61's position is very beneficial to me, though. Although we do lose an ally here, which is a bit of an L. Just a bit of an L. Oh no, the CS crossed for Four dollars and ninety-nine L. cents from underscore the underscore timid underscore savage underscore. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll take that. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna mold for a moment. I thought I hash him and caught him on fire, but it's okay. He is low HP now. <laughs> the pre-aim though. Thank you, Timid. Yeah, the pre-aim was kind of juiced, wasn't it? Oh, okay. So CS is being really, really aggro up top here. I don't think he quite realizes. I'm just waiting for him. 440 splash of standard HE. No. I really needed to kill this man's. Because they still have a 183, which I'm a little bit concerned about here. We have caps though. We do have caps. Alright, let's see if I can start poking up to find their 183 at all. Yeah, who cares about the 183? Oh my gosh, no! I ran out of gun depression on that ridge, dude. What is our 57 doing? Buddy, you gotta move somewhere eventually. Can't keep sitting around all day, dude. My, my buddy, what are you doing? Dude, oh my gosh, this 57 has no clue what he's doing. Oh, the CS got out of the cap, though. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Well, that's just lovely. Basically picked up a clear on that man's. Nice. That was a really valuable clear for me. Gonna pop that adrenaline just in case. Alright, we can get C cap as well. Lovely. Now, where do we think the CS went? Did he go towards A or did he go back this way? That's the real question. I'm gonna go defend C cap. In case he comes towards C. Oh, hi. Enemy knew it. I totally knew it. I knew he was going to sneak around C-Cap. <laughs> With like 3,100. WZ-113 or 5A? Mm, I haven't really played the 5A all that much recently. I think I prefer the 113. Oh my. Cooketh. Cooketh. Two two back-to-back -back cooketh games. Sweaty, too. I'll take it. My uh, my teammates really weren't, weren't vibing there that battle, were they? Oh, boy. Um, yeah, 6,000 damage. I didn't even realize I had 6k that game, to be honest. So, I will very happily take that. And, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I almost went back into the game of accident. Yep, okay. 6,713 and 6,183. <laughs> you know what's funny? Did I even break 5k damage? No, I, yeah, I did. I had a couple of 5k games in the, uh, the 777. But the moment I got out of it, I started cooking another tank. <laughs> I guess I just suck in the 777. Skill issue. That's what it is. Maybe it's just not my tank. I'm not playing it well. I don't know. Uh, but at least I know how it plays. I answered the question. How does it play? Uh, yeah, don't rely too much on his storage armor. <laughs> at least I didn't get Amorak this time around. Last time I got Amorak. This time I didn't. I missed 5A's 40 alpha. Mm, the 5A had 460 alpha. No, it never had 580. Uh, or 480, sorry. It had 460. Uh, the one that had 480 was the Amex M4 MLE. Uh, any plans to review the new German... Panzer 68. Uh, is that the tier 8? Probably not. His royal shaft is for the last two games. Dude, right? <laughs> the MM be like, let him cook. To be fair though, this game, my team was not great. Like, they were they were not great. I, I did manage to cook though. I managed to do all the right positioning plays there. 
Um, so I'm happy with that. Okay, let me think. You know what? Let's um, let's consider some stream ideas for my next live stream. I'll I'll put up a poll. That's what I'll do. I shall put up a poll in the chat. Give me one second here. I need to end this poll. So basically, yeah, I think a lot of players will still really enjoy the object 777. And so don't take my mauled at it as it being a bad tank. It is a genuinely good tank. And I think it has one of the higher win rates in tier 10. I just don't really vibe with it. And so I don't play as well in it probably. Okay. What should next stream be? Okay. Let's, let's think about this. We have Jag with Tungsten. <laughs> I think that one's going to win personally, but let's, let's just keep going. Um, we also have a 113 updated showcase funnily enough that was one of the ones on the agenda here um we st okay oh i finished the 422 stream so i don't have to worry about that uh, uh progetto 65 i think it's been a while since i've done the progetto 65 we'll add that into the list and uh, oh. hmm Let's do the let's just throw the one to one B in there. I'll probably do the one to one B next time it's um next time it's in shop, but I'll throw it in there because I do like the tank. Okay, you guys have fun voting on what I stream next. I'll try to remember. Let's see. Uh, go check out the poll over in the chat. Bobby is uh, still sleeping, it appears. So nothing I can do about a little Miss Bobette. I'm gonna let her rest in peace, and I'm going to look at my phone while I wait for you guys to finish the poll. I will give you like a minute or two. Oh, interesting. Wow. I honestly did not expect that. 49 votes, guys. Go ahead and throw your votes in the chat so you can uh, into the, uh, the poll for the next stream ideas. Next stream, SBMM2 with a disaster. No, Russia disaster. Just wait for the SBMM to be done. <laughs> You'll thank yourself later. The, one, the, the 777 has a better look than the 113, so... I mean, if you have the legendary camo, it looks cooler. Let me show you, though. The 777 without the legendary camo looks so goofy. Look at his goofy eye looking tank, man. Look, 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 look how silly its profile looks. It needs the legendary camo to look good, in my opinion. With the legendary camo, it looks fantastic with space armor paneling and everything. But when it actually comes to which tank I prefer for the most part, without legendary camos aside, 113 I think is still much more sleek. All right. Ooh, it's getting close. We have just about 100 votes. Ooh, who's gonna who's gonna come out on top? Jagger Progetto, do your thing. If as is your backer uh, from like the last two games, maybe. <laughs> It's so close. What happens if we have a draw? What happens if we have a draw? Oh my gosh, it's a draw. Okay. I heard you like slow tanks. Voted for Yag. Ayo. Un uncool. Oh no. Oh, Progetto taking the lead. 32 to 31. 1 to 1B is being neglected, so I guess I'll do the 1 to 1B next time it's in shop. I won't worry about it for now. Um, it has a tumor in the back of its head. <laughs> uh oh no, Yag has 32. Oh dear, okay, okay, 110 votes in. Guys, there's 250 guys here, you can keep voting. I will give you... Stopwatch. I will give you 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds to do it. 30 more seconds for the votes to go through. Choose between, you can basically just choose between the Yag or the Progetto at this point. Um, it has a tumor in the back of it, yes, yes. Uh, what happened to TGF Blue? But he's busy with his university stuff and his studies and everything, so he doesn't really play Blitz anymore. Um, post more Bobby in the Bobby Pick channel. Yes, Timid. I will see what I can do about that. All right, 23, uh, 28, 29, 30. That is done. Okay, so looks like the Yak barely won. Sorry to my Progetto connoisseurs out there, but here's what I will do. Unless new tanks were released that I really want to showcase uh, at some point in the next few days, I will do the Yag maybe tomorrow? evening or something similar and then we will do the Progetto 65 updated showcase after that because I actually really like the Progetto. I've been playing it a little bit more often recently. Great tank. So I do look forward to that. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much everyone for dropping by. I do appreciate the support as always. Sorry these 777 games weren't quite as quality as I had hoped but 
I guess uh, we just realized it's not it's a tank that I don't really vibe with and so yeah don't don't uh, don't mind that <laughs> anyways yeah thanks for all the donations everyone who liked the stream everyone who is active in the chat appreciate seeing you guys here and uh, Nino good to see you as well I may as well make you a mod since you are a uh, youtuber and as moderator There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, uh, guys, if you haven't checked out Nino, he runs a YouTube channel, does good videos and stuff like that. Nice editing, good content. So definitely go check out Nino if you are interested. I do recommend his content. And uh, yeah, there we go. We have it. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all have a great rest of your evening. I will see you next time. Uh, hopefully, Bobby will be here next time. But she's like sleeping under the bed, so I don't want to interrupt her. Take care. Peace.